Hi, I'm Dr. Pam Garcia, and tonight I want to talk to you about three ways that you can help yourself to not get tongue-tied. All right, so let's get started talking about this. First of all, what do I even mean by tongue-tied? Well, if you've ever felt like you just your, your tongue is like tied up in a knot <laughs> and you, you started to talk and you just don't know what to say. That's what I mean by getting tongue tied. And if you've ever had social anxiety or suffered from some shyness socially, you might have experienced that phenomenon yourself. So I'm proud of you for coming to this video. If that's you, way to go. And I hope that this gives you some tips that help you. First of all, let's, I want to let you know that this is all going to take place before the scene that you go into. And so that's really cool, right? Because we can prepare. So what you're gonna do, number one, is you're gonna practice relaxing yourself when you think about the scene that you're going into. So just taking a slow deep breath in, and out. And doing that a few times, just that your breathing slows down. Second of all, I want you to foster an attitude of radical acceptance. So that means you're just gonna come in and accept whatever it is. That means you're gonna accept that it may not be perfect. You're gonna accept that you may not be perfect, that other people may do something clumsy or you may do something silly, um, or maybe there are gonna be some people talking when you walk into, um, let's say you're going into a party, there may be some people walking and talking together in a corner and they're not including you, or you may need to accept that you don't necessarily love exactly what you're wearing or whatever, you know, you're just gonna accept it all. Accept how you feel, accept the others, accept it all. All right, so I want you to foster that attitude, you can practice that. And then the third thing I want you to do is prepare some questions and some topics to talk about. You can store it in the notes section of your phone. So it's always good to have some questions some, that you can ask people to help to get to know them, to help them to talk to you more about their day, about things that, they're, that are going on, who they live with, um, who they're interested in, what they're doing, do, are they reading any books, have they seen any movies? Just getting into conversation with people. And usually after you ask a few questions, you can start listening to what they're saying and then you'll, the questions and, and conversation will start flowing. Um, in addition to preparing that, you might wanna prepare some conversation topics and you might also wanna prepare a way to stop the conversation if you want to stop it. So just a nice polite way, like, excuse me, I'm going to need to um, check my email because I'm expecting a message. And, you know, just just say, excuse me for just a moment and I'll be right back. Or excuse me, I do need to get going. I have an early day at work tomorrow, so I'll see you uh, the next one of these things. So that, that may be a way for you to prevent yourself from getting tongue-tied. So if you do all of that, hopefully that preparation will lead to greater relaxation and the relaxation will lead you to flow when you speak. And I hope that was helpful. So if you like this type of video, please go ahead and like it underneath. Give it a thumbs up, please. And also follow and subscribe to my videos so that you can learn how to help yourself with anxiety. Thanks so much for visiting and I would really love any comments or questions below.